about a couple of weeks now I've been checking out and trying the new uh, True Spec All Terrain Tiger Stripe uh, that they came out with. Got some of the pictures up on our forum uh, in the thread, and I just wanted to follow this up with a little video, give you a little bit more uh, thoughts now that I played with it a little while, had a little time with it, and that sort of thing. I'll start out some years back. Some friends and I were always really big fans of something Truspet used to make that was their Desert Tiger Stripe. Uh, we really liked this Desert Tiger Stripe pattern, and believe it or not, even here in the southeast, it worked surprisingly well out in the woods. Uh, it definitely works really well in an urban area, as sometimes the, the lighter colors do. The biggest problems with this um, back then were A, at that particular time, True Specs quality wasn't quite uh, where it's at now. It's, it's come significantly further quality wise than what it was, um, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago. Um, the other thing that I didn't like about this at the time was this is 100% cotton ripstop. And if you've read any of uh, my threads and discussions on BDUs and clothing and material, I absolutely hate and loathe 100% cotton material, uh, be it summer or winter use. In the winter, if you get wet in it, you freeze to death. In the summer, when you sweat in it, it doesn't evaporate, it just stays wet, and then you've got hot sweat, hot water on top of it. It just doesn't dry out because of the cotton. I'm a really big fan of 65-35 poly cotton blend and even more so 50-50 Nyko blend. Both of those don't hold the moisture like 100% cotton does. They evaporate it, which means the material dries out faster, which means it can absorb more sweat or whatever which keeps you cooler in the summer and drier and warmer in the winter. So just to give you a comparison, again, this is the uh, old desert tiger stripe. See if I can do this halfway here. And this is, of course, the new all-terrain tiger stripe. Maybe this will give you a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see that the the, the all-terrain tiger is a lot darker. There's a lot more coyote brown in it. Um, honestly, the, the all-terrain tiger is exactly what I'd always wished the desert tiger would be. They, they took the bright tans out and muted it down uh, and, and, and darkened it ever so slightly and toned it down a little bit so it's not quite as bright. Sometimes the brightness is good, but Generally speaking, this, this tone is a lot better. Um, so, excellent job there uh, on True Specs part as far as changing the colors and, and getting the color right. One thing that I do really like about the All Terrain Tiger Stripe is this material is the uh, 50-50 Nyko ripstop. So it's a good, strong, durable material, but it's not the 100% cotton. It's a good, sturdy weight. It doesn't feel like the real lightweight pajama material. Um, it's got some good, good strength to it, but you get the uh, less moisture absorption because of the, the, the nylon blend in it. So again, in the winter time, you get wet, it dries out faster, you don't risk getting hypothermia as easily. During the summertime, it dries out faster, which means you can sweat more, which means it absorbs more sweat, evaporates more sweat, which means it can absorb more sweat. And of course, sweating and the absorption and, and movement of the moisture off our skin is what helps us keep us cooler. So that all said, I love the material this is made out of. It, it, it's a good material. I've actually washed and worn this um, probably three or four times now in the past couple of weeks. 
and it's it's holding its color really well from how it came out of the package um, don't see any kind of fading or anything at all uh, I suspect if this does start to fade any uh, it's probably just gonna make it that much better honestly that, that, that slight faded used look is just going to really mute it and, and blend it and blur it all that much better. So I don't see that happening yet, but there it is. Um, again, love the pattern. Uh, I think this is a, if you're looking for something different, but yet you want something to be effective over a, a fairly wide range of, uh, wide range of areas and environments, uh, I think this will work really good. From my experimentation and testing, one area I think this will really shine is probably one area that a lot of people hadn't thought about, and that is in a urban or semi-rural environment around a lot of houses and trees and cars and shrubbery and stuff. Uh, this really does a good job of, of making you harder to see. Um, it, it does a good job of hiding your outline. So, overall, as far as the, the, the overall impressions of the All-Terrain Tiger Stripe as a pattern, love it. I, I think it's really, really good um, pattern. I think it's going to serve a lot of people really well. Um, it, it, it's, again, got a good range of environments you can use it in. I really like the material that it's made out of. Uh, good job there on, on TrueSpec's part. The quality and construction, uh, you know, I, I don't think you could ask for any better without going to the really, really, really high-end expensive uh, $100 a piece garments. Um, I think this is right up there at the top of the line as far as you know, general production uh, BDUs and stuff goes. The fit, uh, that's one area that TruSpec has just come light years in. I used to have a real bad problem getting TruSpec items to fit. Um, I typically wear a large long in most, uh, most brands, and TruSpec used to be a nightmare for me to get to fit right. Uh, a couple years back, TruSpec really got on the ball and changed all that and fixed it. So this top here is a large long. It comes down exactly where I want it to. You can see on my wrists, I've got just the exact length that I want with it. I've got plenty of freedom of movement. It's not baggy on me. It, it, it fits, but it's, it's loose enough I can move in. Right now, they're offering it in the ACU, in their TRU line. It's kind of an ACU style which gives you the Velcro on the pockets here, you got the Velcro shoulder pockets, um, Velcro on the chest pockets, you've got uh, Velcro areas on the elbows and the knees on the pants to put uh, pads in if you wish. It's got the Velcro on the front along with the uh, two-way zipper so you can zip it from the, the bottom or the tops so if you wanted to vent it from the bottom or something you can. It's also got the pleated uh, shoulders back here to give you a good range of, of motion and movement. So that gives you the, the, BD, the ACU style TRU top, the TRU pants, their standard combat shirt and the boonie hats, and I believe they're doing combat like regular patrol caps in it as well. A um, couple of druthers. Uh, these are strictly personal preference points, okay? This, this is not anything that affects the quality or uh, utility or usefulness of, of the, the clothing. Um, three things that I can think of. Number one, I would really like to see TrueSpec go back to using buttons on the garments. Um, I can get away with, with uh, Velcro on the chest pockets, especially if you're wearing you know, a plate carrier or something like that. Um, that really works well. But on the shoulder pockets, I'd really like to see buttons. It makes it a little easier to one hand open it. Um, same on the pants. 
I'd really like to see buttons on the pants pockets instead of instead of Velcro. Again, that's just a, a personal personal preference there. Uh, I'd also like to see them offer it, quite honestly, in just an old school BDU style top, um, or maybe even a hybrid. Take your old standard BDU top and keep your standard pockets up top. Take the bottom pockets, move those to the sleeves, and just keep it simple like that. The regular simple short collar, not necessarily the uh, wrap around preacher type collar. But again, just personal preference. The other thing, I guess second biggest point, would be um, I really like the combat shirt. Uh, they did a good job on the combat shirt. Uh, you got zippers on the shoulder pockets on the combat shirt. You've got your Velcro panels, um, Velcro on the uh, cuffs. That, and that's the other thing while I'm thinking about it. Give me some buttons back on the cuffs. I really like buttons on the cuffs personal preference again. The combat shirt, you've got the uh, Cordura brand uh, material for the, for the body. This is a very, very soft, comfortable material, but it, it, it feels pretty, pretty tough. I've crawled around in the bushes a little bit with it out in the woods, and um, I've got a couple of just the standard um, Cordura t-shirts uh, that they make, and, and those have held up really good for about a year now uh, for me so I don't suspect this would be any different um, they do give you a, a, a slight padded area on the elbows on the combat shirt it's not real thick padding but there's a little bit more there than just just standard the one thing on the combat shirt I'd like to see them change is the body I'd like to see them go from the bright tan on the body to maybe a darker uh, coyote brownish color, maybe something about like the, the, the dark color in the, in the pattern itself. A darker color would, would be my preference there. Ideally, I'd like to see the pattern itself on the body. Um, I know a couple other companies are, are doing that on their, their combat shirts, but I'd love to see the pattern itself on the body material. In lieu of that, the slightly darker brown, I think, would work better with this uh, with this setup than, than the bright tan. The tan's gonna dirty up as you use it and, and probably start matching a little better anyway. So again, that's just a, a personal preference point. The final point is on the boonie hats. Um, again, good construction on the boonie hats. I like them. The one thing I'd like to see them do differently is the boonie hat comes with um, a fairly wide brim. It's, it's approximately two and a half inches wide on the brim. So it's a pretty wide setup. Some people really like that wide brim. It does give you a lot of good sun protection, um, which depending on where you're at, that could be something that you want, that you like. I like a little bit narrower brim. So I actually took this one and uh, took about a half inch off all the way around the brim and then re-sewed it so that I've got a shorter brim, much like what's on their Coyote uh, TRU uh, boonie hats. Not sure why they did the wider one on this one, but they did. So they could do this width brim on the Desert Tiger Stripe. I, I think it would probably be a little bit more versatile than, than the wider brim, but that's just, uh, just my two cents. One other thing that, that I've been thinking about and I'm sure people are going to ask is that obvious question of what gear would I use with, with something like this? Well, obviously there's not any Desert Tiger Stripe Cordura out right now, but we found that the one thing that does work really well with it is just plain solid Coyote. And I'll try to show you that real quick. Solid Coyote uh, works really well with this particular pattern. Now, a lot of guys are sometimes hesitant on coyote gear. A lot of people want OD green or ranger green or something like that if they're in a greener environment. But, got to be honest guys, even in the southeast of deep woods we've got down here, coyote brown works, from my experimentation, every bit as good, if not better, than 
OD green, ranger green, uh, foliage green, something like that. So, you can see the coyote brown really blends in well with this pattern. And it, it doesn't want to hide it. It, it. it keeps a lot of it where you can uh, honestly have a hard time sometimes telling where the coyote gear starts and the pattern itself ends. So don't hesitate to use coyote, solid coyote gear with this. It works really well. Um, it, it'll work really well in more arid areas. It works really well in woodland areas. Uh, don't be fooled into thinking that, that coyote and even this particular color pattern is a quote unquote desert arid type pattern. It does work really well in the woods in Southeast too. So that's something we'll touch in another video is uh, talking about various camouflage patterns and what works where and all that. If you want some good reference, go look at them, uh, my ongoing threads that we've got uh, on the various camo patterns where we've tested them. So again, just to wrap up, uh, overall, I'm a big fan of this all-terrain Tiger Stripe. There's a lot of things I like about it. I think it's going to be a very versatile pattern uh, for a lot of different areas. I think you can get a lot of good use out of it. I like the material. Um, other than those couple of recommendations that I made uh, for true spec, I, I still am going to run this uh, just like it is and intend on getting as much use uh, out of it as I can. We'll probably end up picking up uh, another set or two just to have a couple of spares to, to rotate around with some others that I use. So, hope you guys found this of uh, some kind of use. Uh, true spec, good job. Uh, Y'all hit this one out of the park, I think. It's going to be a, a, a good seller. So, overall, good stuff. Check it out. Uh, there's a, check out your true spec dealers and uh, hit them up if they don't already have it. I know uh, one good place I'll throw a plug for that you can get it from is from uh, PredatorACU.com. Uh, it's part of the, the Predator Intelligence uh, group. I know they're selling them, so go over there and uh, check it out. And uh, there are a bunch of good guys there. Don't hesitate to uh, drop them some drop them some business on these. Catch you next time, guys.